A lot of young people have walked into the Learning Works building in Portland looking for help. Many of them, like Brianna Rodding, say the services here have helped them turn their lives around. I got a job and like it steers me pretty much in the good direction rather than the bad. That's pretty amazing. Don Burley is a case manager for a program that helps kids and young adults who are living with mental illnesses. So we're talking about kids who really, really need support in order to meet their very basic needs and certainly in order to become stabilized and become productive members of society, which is what they all want. Yeah, this is one of our classrooms. But Burley says the program she manages will end if DHHS moves forward with the rate changes being proposed by a recent study. We're talking about a 31 and a half percent proposed rate cut and it will absolutely destroy children's programming in this state. Lawmakers passed a bill that would push these rate change decisions to January, making them issues for the next legislature. Governor LePage vetoed that bill. Burley and others are pushing for an override. I just don't see any need at this time to put a moratorium and really push back for months what is already going to take a long period of time to get done. Republican Deb Sanderson points out that this is far from a done deal because DHHS is still soliciting input on the proposed rate changes. She also cites a study that says Maine has the highest per capita mental health services costs in the nation. Now if we're that high, we need to be taking a look at how we're delivering them, who's delivering them, and at what cost to make sure that we're spending things appropriately. We'll know in a couple of days how things are going to play out on this issue moving forward. It will take the support of two-thirds of the lawmakers who show up here on Friday in order to override the governor's veto. In Augusta, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.